gonna go ahead and open these up for you guys. I think they look pretty nice. What's going on guys? So today we're gonna be picking up a black and gold G-Shock watch with this $45 that we have from last episode. And basically the, the G-Shock is pretty similar to this one I have on except for it has gold inside and it's basically just like the trim inside of it. I already have a buyer for this gold, black and gold G-Shock. And the reason why that is, is because one of my friends actually hit me up and he told me that he was looking for that watch. And so I figured that I might as well knock two birds out with one stone, you know? It's, it's always easier to find a client than to sell them something rather than find something to sell and then look for a client. When you already have a client, all you have to do is go pick up the product. And basically you go from here and you exchange it. And all you are is essentially just a middleman. It's pretty easy and it'll be pretty quick. It honestly didn't take that long. I just looked up a bunch of watches and I found the black and gold G-Shock that he was looking for, told him to send me some pictures and they kind of matched up. So I'm about to go meet up with this guy and go buy this watch for $45 and I'm gonna basically sell it to my friend for 65. He said that the watches he was looking for were costing him around 100 to 110 dollars so I'm giving him a pretty good deal as well as getting a pretty good deal on my own. I will be coming up you know 20 bucks so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the watch and we're gonna check it out hopefully it looks good looks uh pretty pretty good condition and then we'll go ahead and drop it off to our friend and we'll be back with cash so see you guys at that peace what's up guys so we're back we have the watch and honestly i think this thing looks pretty nice if you can see all the gold in there all up in here looks really really clean as well as this has like the little gold metal piece that you use to to clip on into here but uh this is a pretty pretty nice looking watch if, if you ask me really really clean still and i already talked to my friend he said he gave me 65 for it so about to go ahead and drop that off with him and basically he said he was going to cash out me so once again when i get the cash i'll show you guys uh the 65 on cash app so see you guys with that peace Yo, what's up guys? So we ended up selling the watch. We made $65 and we got sent the, the money through Cash App. That should be right here. And so having that, we now have another investment to look into. Honestly, personally, I'm thinking I'm just gonna go ahead and try and get another watch. I found one for pretty cheap, 45 bucks was a really good deal. And I believe that I can sell that same watch for at least a hundred dollars if not more so i'm gonna go ahead and try to find another black and gold g-shock and we'll see what we can do with it hopefully we get it for around the same price i'm looking at 45 bucks again that'd be nice maybe even cheaper who knows i think that personally that watch i could sell for double the profit i gave it away for 65 just because it was a, a friend but this time I'm going to kind of go against my, my own uh, advice. I'm going to buy the product and then look for the consumer. However, I believe the best way to go at this and the way that I will be using more often is to find a consumer first and then go out and get the product for them and basically just deliver it to them. So I'll probably be hitting up a bunch of my friends here, seeing if anyone needs anything or just kind of keeping an ear open however i will still be dealing with other people and i'll be getting products and then finding consumers but i think the the best way to go about this is to find the consumer and then get the product so i'm gonna go ahead and look for another watch and we'll see how that goes so see you guys here pretty soon yo what's up guys so 
what's going on guys so we're gonna be picking up a pair of Jordans we're gonna be using 35 bucks right here to buy some Jordans and we're gonna flip them and hopefully we can make at least you know 65 70 bucks you know I'll even take 60 but we're gonna have to see what kind of condition they look like they're in pretty pretty good condition they also have the box with them so that's also good so if it is in good condition we'll try to sell it for a lot more but if it's only in you know a decent condition then we'll sell it for you know a bit cheaper but we're gonna go ahead and grab these shoes and try flip them so i'll see you guys with that peace All right, what's going on guys? So we're back and we got the shoes. Yeah. So basically, uh, these right here, these are Jordan 5. These are the retro Olympic gold medals, size 10 and a half. Gonna go ahead and open these up for you guys. I think they look pretty nice. So we got these for literally $35 such a steal honestly these shoes look so nice for just $35 these shoes are in super great condition like they're hardly creased at all barely on the toe the bottoms still look really really well and you know there's no creasing on the backs of the shoes there's no yellowing at all like these shoes look nearly brand new honestly I would say these are a solid nine out of ten for you know condition maybe maybe eight and a half just because the toe creasing but there's literally nothing wrong with these shoes 35 dollars we're gonna go ahead and try to sell these for at least 70 maybe even more but i know for a fact i can get a great price on these shoes i'm super excited i'm gonna get at least at least double the money back from this purchase so yeah go ahead stay tuned and We'll be, we'll be selling these shoes here pretty soon. So I'll see you guys with that. Peace. All right, so quickly before I leave, I just wanted to show this place. This is like literally just on the side of the road. Like the road right here just goes right across. But this view is spectacular. Like like over here, there's all these like, they look like satellites, but this view over here is just so nice. I figured this would be worth showing off. And it's like, just just above someone's like house in their backyard but it's it's such a great spot you get to see like all of the city this is it's so beautiful and it's nice and sunny out so i figured this would be a great spot to show off the shoes that i just picked up but yeah i'm gonna go ahead head home and basically post these shoes for sale and uh hopefully get these sold pretty soon so see you guys soon peace sold the shoes and uh, the shoes I'm talking about are right here so we sold these shoes right here for 150 bucks we also had to pay offer up about 13% fee for making the sell through the app which took about $20 off the off the top leaving us with just about 130 bucks it also cost us $35 for the shoes so subtract that and we profited $95 for these shoes right here. Let's get a, one last close look at these shoes. So yeah, these were these were the shoes right here that we're selling. Really, really good condition. There's, you know, 
no scuffs, nothing really on them at all. And now that we had them sold, we have to ship them, which the buyer paid shipping, so that will be free on our hands. So let's go ahead and get started. Yeah. Get there to make money, I'll tell you that much. We just got here. Uh, I have my package right here, and we also got a mask up. It's uh, that that time, so gonna go inside and see. Hopefully, this doesn't cost me any money. I don't think it will, but there is a slight chance. But we're gonna go ahead and ship this package right here, and that'll be it. We'll be done. Feels good. So see you guys real soon. Peace what's going on guys so we're back and now that everything's sold we have our total and i'm actually very very excited in only two episodes we already made 10 times our money so we took 15 dollars bought a pair of jordans flipped that into 45 dollars making a 300 percent return on investment then we took that 45 and we bought a watch which we then flipped it for $65 making another $20 out of that 65 we only took 35 we bought another pair of Jordans and we flipped that and made a hundred sixty grand total when I first started the series I thought it would take a while before I got to a hundred dollars but uh, obviously we're trucking through it and I'm very happy with that my goal is to make one thousand dollars I hope to do that sooner than later honestly i think it's more realistic than i imagined when i first started this series just because from episode one to the end of episode two we've already made 10 times our initial investment which is mind-blowing so thanks for watching guys see you guys in the next one peace also real quick my sister, she uh, she braided my hair for me, and I think it looks 
very nice. Shout out to you, sis. Peace.